It all started right here, right in the middle of late one early morning, when Angel Cake was finishing up a four-decker, triple fudgy, doubly delicious Angel Cake. A little bit more. Now you know how Angel Cake likes everything positively perfect. But when things don't turn out so perfect... Another squirt and it'll be... Hello! Yikes! Well, that's something she doesn't much like. <sighs> that was too close. Angel Cake wanna play? No, thank you. I am very busy. I have to make this positively perfect. Okie dokie. You make perfect. We have fun. There. Angel Cake. Come on, come on, Maria. Let's get moving already. It's half past a quarter of and... Wow. Look at that. Would you just look at... Ooh. Neato. Ah. Cake, it's beautiful. It has to be the very best cake you ever baked. Piece of cake. We came to ask if you might want to play ball with us. Sure, I'd love to. Problem is, we can't exactly play ball because we don't exactly have a ball. Do you have one we could use? All you had to do is ask. Let's go. Who wants to play round and round Red Robin? I do! Yeah. Me Let's too! Do it. Okay! <laughs> Throw to me, Strawberry! I got it! I got it! <laughs> <laughs> Over here! No! Throw it to me! <laughs> Anyway, 
Yeah, it was a good try. Uh, <gasps> oh! It wasn't my fault! Pupcake tripped me! Huh? And there was a bee, and my shoelace was untied, and she was talking to me, and it was his turn, and it wasn't my fault! I'm going home! Oh, dear me! It was awful, Vanilla Ison! They were having fun, but I looked so foolish! No one can have fun when they're looking foolish! I hope I never have to see them again! Strawberry Shortcake, good to see you again. What's up? Just want to make sure everything's okay. Hey, sure, of course, you bet. Why not? Well, you didn't seem to have very much fun today. Who, me? Ha, I had lots of fun, tons of fun. I was just, you know, sort of tired is all. Really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'd been working on a cake all morning and I was worn out. Phew. Was that all it was? Oh, yeah. Then we can play again tomorrow. Hey, sure, of course, you bet. Why not? We'll see you in the morning in the meadow. Great, can't wait. Nighty night. Great, can't wait. Vanilla Ison, I'm tired of being no good at sports. I want to be good. I want to be positively perfect. And that means I got to practice. Phooey. Uh. Whoa. Wait till they see me tomorrow! <laughs> Where's that angel cake, huh? Where could she be? In another quarter hour, she'll be 15 minutes late and she has the ball. She said she'd be here. I sure hope she'll be a better sport today. Oof! Oops! Sorry! Who wants to play ball? How about some round and round red robin? I got a better idea. How about a game of berry ball? Good oh, I thing. love that game. But Angel Cake, that's a very hard game to play. It'll be a piece of cake. <laughs> Pupcake, do you know how to play berry ball? No problem. I'll teach you. Okay, see the ball? You jump over it, pick it up, say, Mother, may I? Hop across the field on one foot, dribble it, and everybody else tries to tag you. Got it? Here we go! Had it. The grass wasn't so slippery and slidey. Let's play Whee! another round. <laughs> uh oh. Are you okay, Angel Cake? I practiced and I practiced and I still stink. I wanted to be good. I wanted to be perfect. But that's what's great about games. You don't have to be perfect. You just have to have fun. Didn't you see me out there? I fell flat in my bottom. Did you see me? I fell flat too. And I missed by a mile. 
You gotta pick yourself up and try again. You gotta be a good sport. But how? How can I be a good sport when I'm no good? There's a trick to it. A trick? When I mess up and I feel sort of bad sporty, I just whistle, like so. <whistles> Quick as that. I feel fine and I'm having fun again. I can't even whistle. You can with this. Everybody ready? Let's go! Good sport, I'm a good sport. Hey, it almost nearly works. Whoa, oh, I'm a good sport, a good sport. This thing doesn't work at all! Are you okay, Angel Cake? No, I am not! Look! Pupcake's doing better than me! <sighs> but that's what's great about games, remember? Having fun! This isn't fun! This is horrible! <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking my ball with me. Cause I am not a good sport. And if I don't play, nobody plays. Not a good sport? She's a really bad sport. I hate those games. And I hate this ball. Ugh. Oh! Look what we found. Thank you, but no thank you. Because I don't want it anymore. <gasps> no! Oh! Goodbye! Pupcake, no! She might able to fix it when she's feeling better. Strawberry, look what I found at my house. Now we can play some more. Yeah, Angel Cake needs some time on her own anyway. <laughs> Here it comes. <laughs> what is that sound? Oh, it's them having fun, and it's awful. Arr! I still hear it. I can't not hear it. I have to get away from that sound.
Now she wrote farewell so long goodbye. I'm very sorry, Orange Blossom. <sighs> Positively perfect. Peace and quiet. Very quiet. I wonder what they're doing. Hello! Angel Cake wanna play? No, I'm awful busy, Apple Dumplin'. See, I'm working on a clover chain and I want to make it just perfect. Okie dokie, you make perfect. We have fun! <laughs> What kind of game are you two playing anyway? Not playing game, having fun! <laughs> Come on! Guess I could try! Whee! Fun. Play always fun. Angel cake not always fun. I guess I was a sort of bad sport, wasn't I? Uh oh. I got it. Got it. I got it. Come on, Apple Dumpling. We gotta get this back where it belongs. Okie dokie. Maybe we could play... Now nah, we need a ball for that. How about... No, that takes a ball, too. Hey, we could always... If we only had a ball... Like this? Angel Cake, you found it! Now we can get back to Berry Ball! Can I play, too? You sure, Angel Cake? Don't worry. From here on out, I'm going to be the best good sport you ever saw. It's only a game. Only a game. All about having fun. Fun, fun, fun. So be a good sport. Be a good sport and you'll get along with everyone.
Orange needs a crash course in creativity? I mean, if only we knew the perfect berry to help her out. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> oh. Uh, you sure about this, Shortcakes? Blueberry's the most creative berry we know. She can totally teach you. Right, Blueberry? The first rule of creativity is... There are no rules! <laughs> Uh-uh. Oh, just give her a chance. Yeah, give her a chance. <laughs> Who are we talking about? Meet the fruit. Feel the fruit. Taste the fruit. No! Be the fruit. None of this makes any sense! Kind of pretty? You're getting it. Orange's creative side. Orange's inner artist could always sing. I just turned up the volume. Ooh, uh, how high did you turn it up? Berries, stop your blending. <laughs> Way to go. Great job. Think. Does his face say, wow, this is so creative? Well... Uh, oh, it tastes like juicy socks. Maybe? It's okay, Orange. Most artists don't get the respect they deserve until they're dead. <clears throat> Before we declare a winner, we have an announcement. The judges decided to create an entirely new category for one of this year's more unique entries. So, the award for Worst Smoothie goes to... Orange Blossom! Worst Smoothie? Created just for me? This is way better than most creative! My own category! Who's the best at being the worst? This very right here! I guess that's the thing about creativity. It's not about being the best. But I am the best at being the worst! <laughs> it's about being you. Exactly! Art is a journey. Eh, just go with it. Sup? Huh, lemon! Between the crowd and the 75 mini peach trifles, I need to bake for a peach trifle. I'm swamped! Need help? What I need is two of me. The moment I've been waiting for. Meet the Cakeinator Six. Oh, wait, the Cakeinator? <laughs> what happened to one through five? Worry about it. I, I don't know, Lemon. Come on. The Cakeinator's programmed to bake the perfect treat. It's just like having two of you. Well, uh, how's it work? Just pop a sparkberry in its mouth and tell it what to bake. Uh, okay. <laughs> ah! I am the Cakeinator. <laughs> I need 75 mini peach trifles. 75 mini peach trifles confirmed. Okay, so I usually mix it with my lucky spoon, and then I... Lucky spoon does not compute. Activate mixer fingers. So after the whole oven fiasco, I was nervous about another lemon invention, but that cake and gets things done. The cakes need 30 minutes to bake. 
You can't rush perfection. 30 minutes does not compute. Activate repulsor. Oh, okay, wow. <laughs> you baked it in no time. But don't rush leering in the peaches and cream. That takes finesse. Welcome to the extraordinary berry. One apple fritter, please. I'm so sorry, honeydew sorbet, but we're sold out of fritters today. Sold out does not compute emergency apple fritter protocol. Well, I guess you don't need me. <laughs> I'll just, I'll take a little break back here. Little break does not compute. Of course it doesn't. What kind of baker am I supposed to be if a robot can do my job? I guess I'm not as special as I thought. We stop, Ellie. My fit is different today. Oh, the cakeinator didn't add the dash of cinnamon you like. Strawberry! That metal version of you put berries on my pie. And won't give me extra powdered sugar. Sorry, Huck. A new berryless piece coming up. And I've got your powdered sugar right here. Extra ingredient does not compute. Imperfect item does not compute. Our treats don't have to be perfect, Cakeinator. They just need to be made with love. That's the Strawberry Shortcake Touch. Mwah. Strawberry Shortcake Touch does not compute. What happened? I told it our treats didn't have to be perfect, that they just needed a little love, and it blew up. Love, huh? That tracks. Lemon, I think it's better if I handle the baking by myself. It's okay. I got another idea. Let me guess, the Cakeinator 7? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh ho! Strawberry shortcake and her dressy sous chef custard! Custard? Custard? I yell when I'm hungry, too. I was busy and Custard wandered off, and now I can't find her! Which makes me a terrible person! And an even worse cat, Mom! Popcake always disappears. I think he does laps around the building. I'm pretty sure Parfait eavesdrops. Frappe takes off all the time. You know, when I get too chatty. Sup? Cheesecake runs an underground poker game for other animals. She counts the cards. Blueberry Muffin is very creative with her facts. She makes them up. None of you know where your pets are? Hey! Hey, friend! Hey! Don't worry, Shortcakes. We'll work together to find all the pets. Thanks. I've studied every inch of the Berry Works. I'll lead the pet rescue. Do we really think the pets wandered in here? Where is here? These are the original storage rooms. It's fascinating, actually. <laughs> Constructed when this was all apple trees, the Big Apple Berry Works led to the small town of Apple Grove becoming Big Apple City. And the apple trees were planted by a magical berry guardian who sprinkled enchanted seeds from high above the clouds. True story. Not true. Custard? Meow. Oh, phew! It's just a painting of Jay Quincy and his wife Henrietta Cupcake. History says her recipes inspired Jay Quincy to start his cupcake factory. Of course, it was the flock of tutti fruity toucans who flew down from the forbidden fruitlands that inspired Henrietta. Again, not true. Tutti fruity toucans are not an actual breed of bird. That's true. Except in the forbidden fruitlands. The forbidden fruitlands are not a thing. Okay, okay, I 
I think we should just focus back on what's important here. Yeah, like why is that whisk upside down? Jay Quincy said great recipes start with whisking. Legends say his whisk was magical and led to his success. That's why he hid it in a secret room and... No, I've researched the berry works for years. No berry guardians, no toucans, no magic whisk, and definitely no secret room. Legends say... History says... All right, all right, enough with the history and the legends. We're here to find the pets, not to talk about why the Berry Works was built, where the secret room is, or why this whisk is upside down. those toucans? Well, legends say that tutti fruity toucans can grow as big as airplanes, and they only eat grapes. They don't like anything else. It's really good. Once upon a time, on a sort of sunny, sort of not sort of afternoon, when everybody was on their way to my house for a good old garden party. It's such a pretty day for it. Rain? Kia, it simply can't rain. It's not raining, it's pouring. Let's get everything in before it's ruined. Everything looks positively awful. That is not a very pretty picture. We'll just make this an outside-inside party. With what? Every last little little thing is ruined. We can go to my house and play dress up. That's a great idea. Yeah. Let's do it. Sounds like fun. But it waning. Yeah, and Blueberry Valley is a long red way away. No problem. I have some extra raincoats. What an absolutely beautiful raincoat. And it fits me perfectly. Me too. But what about you, Strawberry? There's one more here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> what? Is something wrong? <laughs> <laughs> that raincoat strawberry is so funny! <laughs> <laughs> it is a little silly looking. Oh, well, it's not that bad. Is it? Yeah. Yep. Kinda is. You're not going to wear it outside, are you? It may not be the very prettiest thing ever, but it keeps the rain off. I like it. Thank you, Apple Dumplin'. Come on, let's have some fun. I'm sure we can find plenty of costumes to wear in here. Wow, wow, wow! See? Neat, huh? I never saw anything like it's it. It's incredible! Neato! <laughs> 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 Look at this one. I like this one. I like this one better. But this one's even better. I never knew you had so very many books. I absolutely love to read, don't you? Oh, I love to read about anything and everything and all the things that happened once upon a time. Reading is the absolute most fun in the whole wide world. When you read a good story, you feel like you can be anybody. Do anything, go anywhere. Strawberry, that's the most absolutely amazing idea ever. Everybody, you won't believe what Strawberry thought of. We'll pick a story from a storybook and put on a play. Fantastic, I wish I thought of that. Yeah, me too. What story shall we pick? Maybe Rapunzel. This one has some great animal stories. Or Hansel and Gretel, where the witch makes that incredible house. The Trojan horse. I could build one of those with two by fours and four by fours and ten penny nails. Use this one. No, mine. Mine, mine. Mine's best. Oh, 
Here's my favorite, Cinderella. Cinderella! The one where once upon a time the pumpkin turned into an awesome carriage pulled by awesome horses. It's my all-time ever favorite! Then Cinderella it is, and you'll never guess what I happen to have. They're in here somewhere. I saw them the other day. Here they are. Whoa! Just like in Cinderella. Real glass slippers. I never saw any of those before. So who's going to be our Cinderella? How about you, Strawberry? It's just the right size. Then I guess we found our Strawberella. And Custard and Pumpkin can help with my carriage. Can I be the fairy godmother, please? And I'll be the not-so-nasty stepmother. Guess it makes us a slightly wicked stepsisters, huh? I'm Queen of Castle. Wait a minute. What are we going to do for a Prince Charming? I know. No, no, nuh -uh, no, not gonna happen, not gonna do it, no way. Not even if we baked you a nice, fresh huckleberry pie? How about two? You got it. I'll build the sets. I'll paint the backdrops. There, we've done it. On with the show. But there's nobody to put it on for. I know just what to do. Looks like a full house. <laughs> Ladies and gentle pets, Strawberryland Playhouse is proud to present Drabawella! Once upon a time in a land far away, a poor little girl lived with her not-so-nasty stepmother and slightly wicked stepsisters. Poor Strawberella had no nice clothes to wear, only dirty old rags. Absolutely awful things that you wouldn't want to be seen outside in. Okay, okay, let's go. One day, a letter arrived at the house. <laughs> Give me that, Strawberella. It's from the castle. An invitation to a fancy dress ball. Everyone who's anyone will be there. And me, too? You can't be seen in the castle looking like that. But you said everybody would be going. Everybody? Except you. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Sorry. Of course you can come to the ball. Yeah, we didn't mean it. Hold on, hold on. What are you people doing? That's not in the story. But we felt really bad. Because you are bad. You can't be nice. It spoils the story. Oh, yeah, guess you're right. <laughs> we'll try to do worse from now on. Once more from the top. <laughs> I'm gonna wear this. I'm gonna wear that. No, you're not. Uh, 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 ah! uh, hey, who turned out the light? Uh, uh. Huh? Ooh. I could wear it if nobody wants it. Oh, can I please, stepsisters? Oh, but you can't wear this. It has the tear. See? No, please, stepmother, don't. <gasps> now get to work, Strawberella. <laughs> if my clothes were nice, not just nice but clean. If my shoes were polished, like you've never seen, would I be as happy as a shiny? Cause the world would see me as I really am If I glittered, would I be as good as gold? If I sparkled, wouldn't I feel bold? What if the side of me would never hide The pretty me that's left inside? If I glittered
'cause I'm all done up and going to the ball. And on my lovely gown, the moonlight shines and glints till it catches the eye of the handsome prince. If I glitter. Sparkle, fun will have a chance. Now my outside shows what's in my heart. Just little me who wants her life to start. If I glitter, if I glitter, and if I shine, they'd really see that there was so much more to me. Could go. Yikes! <laughs> Who are you? I'm your fairy godmother, and I'm here to grant your wish. My wish? You know, the one about the fancy dress ball. Come on, we have a lot of work to do. Now the very first thing I'm gonna need is one of these. Perfect. A strawberry? Where you see a strawberry, I see a beautiful carriage. Oh my! And we'll need a horse, of course. The dog. Go with the dog. <laughs> Oh, Pupcake, you're a... A wolf! A horse who acts like a dog. Hmm. Yes, perfect to drive our carriage. Oh, I don't like the way she is looking at me. I can't believe I'm going to a fancy dress ball. Yes, yes, yes. No, no, no! Not like that, you're not. That's better, eh? And the shoes. Nice touch, don't you think? A perfect fit. I don't know how to thank you. Mmm! No time for that. Don't want to be late, do you? Isn't this wonderful, Custard? It's like a dream come true. Nobody deserves it more than Pup Horse. Whoa! <laughs> Stop, Pup Horse! Stop! One more thing. My magic only lasts a while. You have to be home before 8 o'clock. I thought it was midnight. That would be past your bedtime. 8 o'clock and everything changes back as it was. And you? You, once again, will be dressed in tatters and rags. It is a dream come true. Everybody dance! He's so cute. He's a dream. Oh, Prince Charming, you simply must dance with my lovely daughters. Oh, Prince, you dance divinely! Ouch! What's wrong? What's the matter? Who is that? Who's who? Who where? Who who? Who is that? Hi, uh, I'm, um, odd, uh, the Prince, right? 
And I was uh, wondering, uh, maybe you wanna um, dance? I'd love to. Done yet, Strawberella? Almost, stepmother. Why, Prince, did you miss me, huh? No. Prince finds shoe. <gasps> and I'm trying to find its owner. Oh, that's mine. Yep, you betcha, my shoe. No, no. I think it's mine. I got the wrong house. Wait! Let her try. Ha 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 ha. Oh, please, be real. I mean, it is so absolutely not hers. Still, will you try it on? It could be you, if the shoe <laughs> fits. Whoa! It can't be! Impossible! It is you! Come with us, Princess Charming. Oh, you don't want me there. I look so awful. Who cares what you look like on the outside? You are not your clothes. You are not your hair. You are not the dress that your mother made you wear Rich or even poor, I couldn't really care You're still simply beautiful You, you could be a prince with the finest clothes But it wouldn't make you any nicer, I suppose supposed to wear cause it's not the way you look it's the things you say and do that make you beautiful that make you beautiful that make you beautiful you. 
and the happy ending is what it was, because they all lived happily forever, ever after. <laughs> <laughs> A rainbow! Look at that! Wow! It's beautiful! Isn't it pretty? Oh, my! And it stopped raining! Guess I won't need that ugly old tattery old raincoat anymore, huh? Well, hey, I mean, you know, come on, it wasn't the worst thing that ever was. Yeah, and we shouldn't have made fun of it. We're absolutely sorry, Strawberry. It's not how you look outside that matters. It's who you are inside, right? Yep, or anyway, that's what I heard once upon a time. <laughs> Not again! It's Sweetie Pie's Day. It's Sweetie Pie's Day! AKA the sweetest holiday, AKA the day when I get my sweet friends the sweetest presents I can to show how much I love them! AKA love is in the air. <gasps> a meditation pillow shaped like a chocolate bar. Tranquil and tasty. Oh, I love you bunches, Blueberry. A chocolate trophy? For the sweetest smoothie maker I know. Aw, thanks, Shortcakes. Orange, you glad I love you, Orange? Get it? Orange? Because your name is... <clears throat> yeah, I'll workshop that a bit. <gasps> a book about chocolate made of chocolate? Lots of love for you! Woo! <laughs> to Cocoa Bean or not to Cocoa Bean? Day. I just want to give you your Sweetie Pie's Day present. I don't want it! <sighs> Look, it's nothing personal, but personally, I hate Sweetie Pie's Day. <laughs> but why? Sweetie Pie's Day is all about love? Ooh, feelings. Handwritten cards. Ooh, writing about feelings. And hugs! Hugs are the worst. Down with hugs! Lemon? Don't you want to show your friends how much you love them? Of course I do, but Sweetie Pie's Day, it's all about sharing your feelings. Oh, every berry gives me stuff and I don't know what to do or say and it just makes me feel weird. Okay, no feelings. Just open it. A chocolate bolt? You show us you care all the time with your ingenious inventions, like my amazing Berry Berry Oven. So this is my way of saying thank you for all the times you show us how much you care. Your way. Huh. I know, it's Sweetie Pie's day, and you won't want to talk feelings and stuff, but since I don't want to, I thought I'd show you how much you mean to me instead. With this little invention I like to call the Hug Master 3000! Hugs aren't my thing, but this guy loves them. Don't look now, but I think you just shared some feelings. Turns out, I like to show I care, just in my own way. Honestly, the best hugs are the ones I don't need to be a part of. Group hug, everybody! Oh, I love you so much! Perfect. Cranberry Jam says the most
most important ingredient in any dish is love. Unless that dish is gooseberry pie. Then it's gooseberries. Nutritious, delicious, and makes me ambitious. I'm training for the all-city cherry thon, and nothing gets me amped like gooseberry smoothie. I need some quality gooseberries to nail this recipe. Fortunately, Orange Blossom told me there's only one place in Big Apple City to get good gooseberries. Mr. Mango Steen's Fruit Stand. Good, good morning, morning, Mr. Mango Steen. Morning, girls. What can I do for you? One, one carton of gooseberries, please. I'm sorry, girls, but I just sold out. Last batch is going to Mrs. Crumbcake all the way across town. Oh. No. Of course, it was a big order. I bet she'd have enough berries left over for just one more recipe. <gasps> oh, there goes my delivery boy now. You should have the berries. You told me about the fruit stand. Uh, no, you should have them. I insist. Okay, bye. Seriously? <laughs> Orange is fast. <laughs> and on your left, you can see Sunberry who will not be getting any gooseberries today. <laughs> no pictures. Wow. Shortcakes is resourceful. Orange is fast, but hey, she's not gonna beat a bus, right? Please tell me she won't. I'll save you some berries! Yeah, it uh, really, really gets crowded in here, doesn't it? I know, right? Lady? That's unfair! Unfair? You got on a bus! That's a really good point! I need wheels! <laughs> Hello, girls. What can I do for you? Gooseberries! If, if I don't, I don't get, get them, them, I can't, can't make my pineapple! Oh dear, I was just going to use them to make juice for my granddaughter. Whammy Clumpkick says gooseberry juice will make me big and strong. You know what? It's not a big deal. <laughs> uh, I think we're at the wrong house. Enjoy that gooseberry juice. <laughs> so, that got weird. It did. You wrote an ostrich. I did. We got a little carried away. No berry is worth all that. Totally, totally. Especially since elderberries would be a great substitute in a pie anyway. Oh, yeah. I mean, they have the same nutritional value as gooseberries. I saw one last star at Mangosteen's. 